In this video, I'm going to be talking about over 10 ingredients that are made from fish, it's made from pigs, it's made from bugs, and it's made from sheep. Some of these ingredients are going to surprise you. They're all found in beauty products. So if you're keen to know what these ingredients are, definitely keep on watching. Hello Han, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Robin, I run a holistic beauty blog called Behold and in this space we're all about feeling beautiful from inside out. I'm now only using vegan beauty products. If it doesn't say that it's vegan or it doesn't say that it's cruelty free, I just wouldn't go there. I do still have some non-vegan products in terms of like clothing and that but those are things that are like really sentimental items that i thought i wouldn't throw away but i'm not buying any other new products that are not vegan just before i get into the ingredients list and unpacking the products i just want to let you know that i'm in no way saying you need to stop using whatever you're using i'm just saying that it's something that you should know about especially if you have an allergy to fish or an allergy to dairy i actually have a relative who is allergic to fish she's allergic to shellfish she can't even go into the sea and then she breaks out in a rash so having products that have little ingredients hidden in them by certain names that you're not familiar with is so scary sometimes you know products say they cruelty free they say they're natural they say they're org organic and then you go to the ingredients list and you're like hang on this is not actually what they're saying it is for example one day this was early in my vegan journey i bought almond milk and it was an almond milk powder because at the time i didn't know i could grind my own almonds and I just wanted things to be easier so I bought the almond milk powder and then I'm looking at the ingredients list and I see that it has casein in it and that is actually a dairy product <laughs> it's a derivative of cow's milk which completely defeats the purpose of buying a non-dairy product that imitates a dairy product so you really have to check the ingredients in the beginning it was really time consuming for me and I know that it might be time consuming for you to go through the list of ingredients that is on products sometimes it just seems like this is a mission but once you know the names and once you get the hang of looking at labels you'll be able to easily spot which products are no-go for you so let's get into the list i've already mentioned the first one and that is casein which comes from cow's milk it is used in conditioners and this is like lots of protein rich products because you know dairy is used as a protein steroid almost dairy is a steroid i don't know if you've ever looked at carbs when they just born and then like two months later they're huge the second ingredient that also comes from cow's milk is whey this is usually used in food or supplements protein powders and those kind of things but again it's used in conditioners protein rich products that's meant to strengthen your hair and help you retain length and hydrate and those kind of things number three is beeswax this is an obvious one it's made by the bee so i do think that this is a valid inclusion some vegans choose to use honey i don't know how that works i think if you use honey then you are vegetarian but another name for beeswax is sarah alba if you happen to be looking at beauty products and you see that it says Sarah Alba that is actually beeswax. Number four is carmine and this one is a little bit gross for me it's a little bit scary. Carmine is a bug that has a distinct red color and what they do is they crush the bugs to get that color and use it in nail polishes, they use it in blush and they use it in lipsticks and they also use it in meat so the other name for carmine if you don't see carmine on the ingredients list is natural red 4 or e120 so so if you happen to be going to and you're drinking a red drink and the ingredient on this is e120 then you are drinking the bug but that's none of my business <laughs> 
Number five, another bug that's crushed for nail polish is shellac. I'm sure that you've seen shellac name on nail polishes and this is what gives nail polish that glossy overlay or sometimes you'll notice that the beautician she applies the nail polish and then she applies a shellac overlay to give you that extra glossy look this is from a bug number six is mink most popularly used for mink eyelashes i've never used lashes in my life and i recently actually got lashes from a brand and they are synthetic lashes I haven't tried them yet. I don't know if I'll try them, but they are here if I'm feeling adventurous. And if you're not too sure what a mink is, it's a dusty like animal. I think it's part of the meerkat family. It's tiny. I'll show a picture here what it looks like. In the past, I have actually used keratin products and I've recommended it for the health of hair. I don't deny that it is a good product for strengthening hair, but Obviously, it doesn't align with my values, so now I'm using natural ingredients and I'm opting to use things like flaxseed oil and I use flax seeds in my food to ensure that I maintain the strength of my hair and I retain length. Number eight is elastin and elastin is another one of those ingredients that's found in animal bones and tissue it's meant as an anti-aging product so if you're reaching that age where you're using anti-aging products this is probably one of the ingredients you'll find in moisturizers the alternative to elastin is hyaluronic acid it's something that my beautician used and i'm grateful for another ingredient used to plump up the skin and especially for anti-aging products is collagen a brand actually reached out to me to collaborate on a product that was collagen based and it was crazy because I had let them know you know I'm vegan and I don't use animal based products and they were really adamant in wanting to offer me a certain amount of money <laughs> and no amount of money is worth you disregarding your values for it's more beneficial for you to then find people and companies that align with your values number 10 is steric acid and this one isn't allowed it is used in cleansers and it's basically if i can explain it used to latch onto dirt and help you cleanse more effectively but you can find plant-based steric acid products so you have to be careful sometimes the product doesn't say that it's vegan and then you don't really know if the ingredients are vegan so I would suggest if you find steric acid on a product then ensure that you see at least the cruelty free or the vegan logo you want to see both ideally because it doesn't make sense to have one without the other or ask the brand Google to see if the brand is vegan most of the times on that uh, frequently asked questions paid of a company's website you'll see whether the brand is vegan or not the lake is also a fat used from animals and this is used to soften the texture of conditioners you know it gives you that little bit of a slip the lake acid is an animal derivative but again you like the steric acid you can find plant-based lake acid so it's important to check whether the actual brand or the product has a vegan logo or cruelty free logo. Number 12 is guanine. And this one is a little fishy, literally fishy, because this is actually the shimmer that you see in nail polishes, you'll see it in bronzers and highlighters. And what they do is they actually scrape the scales of a fish to get that shimmer texture. So if you see that there's guanine in your beauty products like your bronzers your highlighters and your nail polish know that you are applying something fishy to your body number 13 is lanolin it is actually a product that people are allergic to i know just from working in the beauty industry in cosmetics that there are people who are allergic to lanolin so this is a really important one to watch out for it comes from sheep's wool 
and it's used in lip balms and it's used in moisturizers to give the product a soft texture number 14 is gelatin the second product on this list that is definitely not halal because gelatin comes from pig skin if you're eating a gummy sweet because this is mostly found in sweets gelatin is gonna give you that gummy texture and you basically eating pig skin it's also found in face masks and anti-aging products to plump up the skin and give you volume and reduce lines and wrinkles and the last one on my list and this is a long name is acetyl glucosamine acetyl glucosamine it's basically an ingredient found on the outer shell of shellfish and this is mostly used to help even skin tone and to reduce the appearance of dark spots so if you see nag nag i'm not sure if they call it nag but it's nag if you see acetyl glucosamine know that that comes from shellfish now the list goes on but i'm going to leave it there and i'd love for you to let me know if you found this video useful and if you'd like me to create more videos like this i'd be happy to do that but i won't know if you don't tell me so please give this video a thumbs up like it and comment below which ingredients you were surprised about and i have another video coming on after this so if you're keen to watch stick around and i'll see you in my next one Thank you.